What's going on everybody? So recently I've been getting a lot of comments about the beast cards you can collect from the Halloween Tower Raid and today I'm going to show you exactly how to find all 12 of them as well as what you can do with them and the rewards you get. Now I have collected some of these before recording this video so some of these won't have them in the location but they will be there if you haven't already collected them. But let's get right to it. For the beast card on the first floor once you've made it to where you have to move this cabinet to go through these doors enter this room on the left and then the beast card will be at the top of this cabinet right here on the corner for the beast card on the fourth floor once you get past the second exploding door it comes to this big hallway go to the second door on the right with the lights and once you're inside just head over here behind these desks and the beast card will be on the shelf right here for the beast card on the fifth floor after you defeat the boss and open the shutter you'll come to this kind of big area right here which leads to the exit if you turn around you'll actually go find this vending machine and the beast card will be right on top of it for the beast card on the seventh floor at the very beginning you'll enter this room here you want to jump on top of this vending machine and then up to the ledge above you and then all you need to do is go into this room and behind this little plank on the ground is the next beast card for the beast card on the ninth floor once you get the key card from the swimming pool area and go into this locker room just head over to the second set of lockers and it's going to be right here on top of the shelf for the beast card on the tenth floor once you make it to this outside section you actually want to jump across this little area to the next building where the virals come from and then inside this room at the end the beast card will be right here on the end of the table for the beast card on the 12th floor once you get into this room and have to fight the goon you actually want to go in here where the goon came from and go right over to this couch to find the next beast card for the beast card on the 14th floor once you've used the key card to open up this door before breaking down that barrier you can actually run right back here and the card will be on the table right here for the beast card on the 15th floor, once you've defeated the boss and opened up this door into this hallway, just go into this first bathroom and it'll be in the stall at the very end on the ground. For the beast card on the 17th floor, after you use the key card you got from the goon, you'll come to this room right here. This is the exit, but what you want to do is come right over here to this desk and right behind this pillar is the beast card. For the beast card on the 19th floor, once you have defeated the electric goon and used the key card to go into this room, defeat all the enemies and head towards the hive down the end of the hall. But in this first room, look at the desk right here and grab the beast card through the window. For the beast card on the 20th floor, after you defeat the tyrant, the objective will take you down this path right here. And when you get to this doorway, turn to the left and follow this red hallway all the way to this room here. And once you get into this room behind this curtain is the last beast card. So now that you have all 12 of the beast cards, just start another tower raid session and continue like you normally do under the shutter, but instead of going to the elevator, go up this ramp and jump up here, because this little door right here with this key card is where you need to put them in. It will have to enter all 12 of them individually, so it can take a while, but I've already knocked it down to one for you to make it quicker. So we'll go ahead and open this up, and then now the door will be able to be opened. And this is the secret room that you get unlocked. It's a pretty cool looking to be honest but the main thing we're here for is this guy right here we'll check his body and underneath it is going to be the beast cosmetic item it's kind of a, a chest piece which i'll show you case that here in just a minute but also there's these three chests to kind of give you a little bit of extra supplies whenever you're starting around so you can start off with some ammo and these are all random like sometimes you'll have weapons and things like that like this so it just gives you a little bit of an edge going in to each tower raid as well but let's go check out the chest piece so once you pick up the chest piece, it actually goes automatically into your inventory. So you don't need to go to your stash or anything like that. So here it is right here. Um, you can see the stats on it are not very good. So I wouldn't recommend using this to boost your character because there's so much more equipment out there that's a million times better. Um, what it basically is, is really just a advertisement for the beast, which I do like the look of it. We'll kind of back out a little bit here so you can kind of see all the way around it. But it's... It feels like the effort that you put in to get this one specific item isn't really worth it. Unlike the Christmas event we had last year where, you know, doing the, the stuff with the tree and collecting the presents and you getting the different elf parts of the outfit. Like, I think that was a really good way they, to go about it. This just feels like not the best way for this outfit to be introduced into the game so let me know what your thoughts are on this did you obtain it already do you like it do you hate it let me know in the comments below and if you want to see more content make sure to like and subscribe and check out my second channel and my other socials for any more content that i post thanks for watching everybody see you next time